Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Today in this video, we are going to talk about what you need to bring to your AMET exam center. Yeah, you have heard it, right? Because you are seeing there are debates most students are doing. We did not get any roll number, permit card or anything. Is there any kind of thing? Because they won't be giving you and nobody have received it. So I'm going to tell you what you need to bring to your exam center, how they will be verifying you and how you will be getting your seat arraignment, right? How you will be getting your entry. Okay, so from previous, like uh, I know from previous three, four years, they are not giving any, they are not assigning any roll numbers, like pre-roll numbers or permit card. They don't do anything like that. That's weird, I know. So what you need to do, what you will be doing is your passport or identity card is everything that is going to matter. They will be verifying you because they will be having a like a whole sheet okay a whole list where all the students all the participants who book that center they will be having that because seneca will be giving to them and i hope you know when minerva was there okay minerva was there they were giving the moment you booked your amit exam they will they were sending you two emails one was full with all the exam details, how you have to write IMET exam, how you have to fill your answer sheet and what you will be getting, all the like instructions about your exam and second email about your registration, that your registration is successful and you are uh, like good to go. But this year, this didn't happen because there is change of agency. Selexi is there, Seneca chose Selexi that is Italian based to conduct the IMET exam and Selexi is so weird because I have made a previous video where I told about IMAT registration like mess they made. They did not increase seats. There were so many flaws. Students did not receive confirmation emails, but kind of that thing. But Selexi did not give any instructions about exam and they just like sent the confirmation email. Most students did not receive that as well. So they do not have any proof. Just accept that uh, their, like, their payment is made in their portal. It is like there and from their bank account the amount is deducted all right we won't talk about that we will talk about again okay, in this video in second part we will be talking about what you will be getting in your exam how many papers you will be getting how you have to solve them what should be the way of marking and how you will be uh, like uh, putting in the boxes uh, by using barcode and everything uh, we will talk about later but right now let's start with the first thing what you need to bring to your exam center. Okay, so the moment you book your IMAT exam, you got one email, right? That is confirmation email. There you have got a transaction number. That email is little important, but that won't matter. So in your exam, the only thing matters is you and second, your identity uh, through your identity card or passport. Passport is the best thing. So bring your passport because passport number is on your universe Italy. Like if you did pre-enrollment is there and passport number is everywhere because you cannot create your account on university Italy, uh, for booking your AMET exam if you are European or if you're non-European for doing pre-enrollment and booking AMET exam. So passport number is really good thing. So bring it, bring that during AMET exam and they will be verifying through that. But identity card also matters because they will be verifying two things, your name and your date of birth, these two things. Uh, so make sure you have got right on your passport, your identity card and the moment you like did registration and applications. All right, so they will be having, the moment you will go to your exam center, uh, they will be having a whole list and they will be like, uh, you will be standing in row. So they will recruit one by one and uh, like uh, looking at your name and you are verifying your date of birth, you will be like giving them your passport and everything and then they will be uh, giving seat, seat arrangement. Okay, on seats, they would have pre-written your like name and date of birth. So that's the whole thing. What you need to bring is just passport. That is going to matter. But to be on safer side, do take okay print out of your pre-enrollment summary that if you are non-european you got pre-enrollment summary right from your university so university so print that out and take that because you have got your registration your passport name everything there and second thing take the print out of your email that you receive confirmation email where it is written your name on the top dear and then like your exam center is this at the bottom there will be transaction number that is going to matter Okay, all right, these two things. And the third thing that you can go to your like portal where you booked IMAT exam, imat.seneca.it, log in there, 
there will be a registration summary showing like you have made the payment you are exempt into your first year university and then there will be option cancel the pay, like registration change the registration or like we'll do whatever but there will be a one like a blue option that stump pay promo moria download something like there will be download or like icon showing so click on that and there will be a little document downloaded where it will be showing your name in blue red and black color so that will be showing your name just take the print out of that document as well these three documents your pre-enrollment summary your like information email and stump paper memory i don't know what that means but it's there in your like a portal where you book time at exam i'm at dot .it. just log in there and there will be a option showing that is showing on screen so download from there and rest you don't have to do anything just like bring these these won't matter to be on server side if there can be any contradictions to avoid them you should be better having these right all right so that's done don't worry you will be seeing lots of debates in groups like you have to this 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 stop it focus on your amit exam because that will matter more right all right and i will be posting one more video regarding what you should be doing in these like couple of days all right now the second part what once you get into your examination hall you sit on your seat what will be exam like a kind of infrastructure what you will be given answer sheet question paper how you have to mark how you have to fill how you have to mark them and then how you will be managing time properly and then third thing how you will be submitting those that is like a little bit little bit tricky but i don't have to explain this because the moment you will sit on seat there will be okay the invigilator or the uh, examination coordinator will be telling you each and everything but kind of there will be so much echo if the like examination center is very big and you're a speaker you might miss something so it's better to have something in like uh, uh, advance that, that's like a good thing right uh, otherwise you can skip this part but you will be given you will be given each and every instruction before starting the exam examiner will be giving to you all right but this is what i'm telling you i don't know if there's any change for this year but from previous two years what happened what what was happening how exam was like uh, being conducted but my never was there selexi wasn't there selexi is a mess all right but still let's see what they will be doing so what will happen once you get into your examination hall you sit on your seat uh, they will be giving you okay firstly candidate sheet on candidate sheet you will be having you, you just have to fill out okay already your name will be written you are like everything will be written if there's any like uh, issue or if there is any mistake you can like point them out you just have to sign that sheet and if there is something missing like write down your email write down whatever like that will be mentioned there it will be very short sheet just write everything down and then hand over to examiner they, they will be collecting it don't worry about that just fill it out now the second thing they will be giving you question paper and answer sheet answer sheet will be just one page right on which there will be like uh, 60 questions are there total so 60 boxes will be there uh question number one two three every question will be having like five boxes in front of it one will be having five boxes where a b c d e and then two three so so on up to 60. now what you have to do is this is pretty cool on answer sheet answer sheet is really important thing but question paper is also important so question paper will be having all your sections biology chemistry physics maths logical reasoning and general knowledge all the questions are written and like sequence but uh, what you have to do is here yeah, right just like if there is any name uh, like slot where you have to write that just write it down on your like uh, answer sheet write it down now the important thing is how you will be filling it remember you will be having 100 minutes so in those 100 minutes make sure that you transfer all of your answers from question paper to your answer sheet if you didn't transfer that they will like snatch it and you won't be having like any extra minute so most students were crying previous years so don't do this mistake don't repeat this uh all right now what you have to do answer sheet is there fill like i would say do section by section solve one section like biology and then like uh, transfer all the answers and uh, then go with other but previous two years how you had to fill the answer sheet i'm saying in previous two years in 2023 2024 same thing was happening but if there's any change in 2025 you will be like notified before your exam what you have to do is you had to put a cross okay put cross in the correct like uh, box let's say in question number one on answer question paper you solved it and the answer was let's say uh, b was correct so what you have to do come here on your answer sheet and go to 
like question number one in box b put a cross just that's it that's your like you have marked it you don't have to fill it you don't have to like direct nothing if you do that you will be marked wrong that question will be marked wrong not you but anyways although ultimately you will be wrong so but there was a good thing here you have one choice let's say you were re-going through the question paper and you say no in question number one uh, option c was correct you were panicked at that time you had anxiety so equation three is correct now just come back fill that box okay firstly you had filled the box b so completely fill it make it fully black you will be given okay uh, pen and uh, yeah you will be given pen so don't worry about that but do bring okay one like black pen with you along with you during your exam although they will be giving you so fill the full box fully fill it box b is fully filled now put the cross in uh, like box c now you cannot change it so you had one choice you had just one choice and you have got that now similarly you will be filling all the sheet by doing cross if there is going to be any change if there is any circle or anything filling they will be notifying you but this is happening from previous videos right all right so just fill it and once you are done okay once you are done 100% will be up they will be announcing it they will say stop it and they will instantly start collecting your pens and then you are like you don't you can't do anything right and the i would be telling you don't cheat because every single uh, like students will be having shuffled questions your questions order won't match with like the students next to you so this is like what's happening previous two years so don't do that don't like uh, if you are asking firstly don't cheat and you won't be having enough time right you will just have enough time to complete your like paper i think uh, on time it won't be like uh, enough time you will be saying i should be having more time but still if you are asking say full question and then ask them what's the correct answer they will be giving you the answer although there will be strictness and everything so don't worry about that and leave it that's bad thing that's illegal no, don't be doing that all right so once you are done you will have okay they will announce that now you have to come in front exactly like in vigilators will be sitting you, they will be having barcodes okay you will pick the barcode up you will bring your answer your sheet and your question sheet they will be giving you all the instructions right just like they will be ha like one sticker will be having two barcodes on one side and second side okay just take that barcode sticker out and stick it on your answer paper answer sheet on top of that and then one like uh, other side of that barcode that will be having a sticker as well so stick that on your question sheet and now this barcode is very important because if you can remember that barcode i would say four five digits remember the last four five digits because there will be anonymous ranking uh, before your official result so you can like see your scores using that barcode but still uh, anyways now you will fill uh, like uh, sorry you will put those answer sheet and question paper in the boxes that will be present in front of you like you have to put answer sheet in one box and question paper in one box now you are done all right so your exam is gone, like done and you will come out and go home relax and then there will be answer sheet um, that will be published by Seneca so you will like cross check do remember what you are marking okay most students say oh I don't remember that's like a bullshit but still you don't add everything so try to like see what you have done uh, because you will be seeing you will be getting similar scores now the more thing I forgot to tell you you can bring okay water bottle do not bring any colorful bottle or bring transparent bottle remove the sticker uh yeah you can just bring that i would highly suggest okay bring some juice with you juice is going to save your exam because uh in your stress situation in your stress situation what happens like insulin okay insulin production is more so insulin tries to like get all the blood glucose into your cell glycogen is there so what you have to do is bring juice drink it so that your blood glucose is high and because your whole brain okay brain depends on glucose brain does not need brain do not need fats it does not depend on anything so it needs pure pure glucose and it can extract energy from there uh, i hope you know if you don't it's all right so do get juice uh, with you that will be like in transparent bottle okay right transparent bottle and second thing i would say you can get chocolate in transparent uh, paper uh, sorry yeah transparent uh, wrap or anything but it should be transparent 
uh, because chocolates will be helping you a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you are a kind of a bubblegum person, bring that. I don't believe in that because I think whenever I chew bubble gum during my exam, I forget most of the things. Ah, uh, all right. But chocolate and juice is a really, really important thing. You might be like, ah, Femi, you are trying to be cool. No, I'm not trying to be cool. That's like a really, really good thing. Uh, scientifically proof. Okay, if it's not, uh, I can like prove it. But it's going to like give you so much energy during exam. It will be 100 minutes long because your exam will be 100 minutes long. And to uh, survive that, you need energy and have some good breakfast before your exam. And uh, the more important thing, when you bring juice, do drink it, okay, during your exam because most students in anxiety and stress, they just give like uh, solving, solving, solving. So don't be like that. And a uh, last thing, but not least, that is that you will be given a rough, uh, sheets for your rough work, uh, blank sheets for rough work. Previous two years in different centers, they did, okay, they had provided, but in lots of centers, like uh, non-European centers, they did not provide. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that's a bad thing, but uh, you will be having enough space in front of your question paper, so you can always write there, and I would highly suggest, because it's a pen paper based test, I would highly suggest use pens, okay, use pen and do as much like uh, you can like create as much mess as you can create on your question paper that's like a good thing so do 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 and that's like a really really good thing that you can highlight keywords and then you can just focus on those and uh, elimination trick if you don't know how to use elimination trick to solve the questions that is going to save your exam so do try to go and watch the video just write elimination time i don't remember the uh, best way to solve your IMAT exam i have made a video i think one or two years ago so watch it, that will be helping you. And that's a so, so good trick because if you don't know the answer, you still will get to the answer like uh, using that trick. That's like a really, really good trick. Oh, so that was all what you need to bring to your exam and how your exam will look like. So I hope this information was really helpful. If it was, then uh, like thumbs it up and subscribe it. And importantly, I will be like next posting. Uh, what you should be doing okay in last 10 days of your IMAT exam how you should be preparing uh, how you should be really preparing that is going to save your exam ah, by the way so do check that out just like uh, turn on the bell icon and see you in next video till bye bye